Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to this brief lesson called How to Reset the Azure Migrate Virtual Appliance. My name's Tim Warner. I'm happy to be your instructor. Here's the situation. Let's say you're using Azure Migrate in the server migration scenario, which is to say you have physical and or virtual servers in your on-premises data center that you want to migrate into Azure as virtual machines. And one of those setup steps is to deploy a pre-configured virtual appliance to your environment. So you say you do that, doesn't matter whether you've got Hyper-V or VMware on premises, but you do that, but in your testing, you are now ready to do a production assessment and deployment, and you therefore need to reset the appliance. You find that in the web administration UI, that's not an obvious thing to do. Thus, the purpose of this video. Let's get right to it with no further ado. Here we are in the Microsoft Azure portal, portal.azure.com. I'm logged on as a subscription owner, and we're looking at Azure Migrate, in particular, the server migration goal. First thing I want you to see here is that Azure Migrate remembers the last project that you had going. That's what this Migrate project control is over on the right. Now, what if you delete the resource group that governed the project? You'll find that the reference to that still shows up, so don't be thrown off. And when you click Change, if you deleted the underlying resource group that housed your previous project, it won't show up in the list. A little bit non-intuitive in my humble opinion. You can always override and start a new project by clicking this little link here, click here. And let's do that. Recall that in Azure Migrate, we do a server migration, first of all, by specifying metadata. I'm going to create a new resource group called, appropriately enough, Migrate. I'll give it a name, Test Server Migration, and my geography is the United States. We'll click Next. And I'm going to use just the first-party Azure Migrate Assessment tool as well as the Migration tool, and we'll add the tools to our project. So far, so good. As you may very well know by now, the Azure Migrate server assessment process involves discovery, which, depending upon your local hypervisor, whether it's VMware or Hyper-V, or if perhaps the source machines are located in another cloud or their physical servers, there's a third option, you'll get some specific instructions. My local environment is Hyper-V, so I select that, and then we have a download link to a pre-configured Azure Migrate appliance you're actually seeing the desktop of that appliance right here. I've downloaded the VHD. I've stood it up in my local environment. It's a Windows Server 2016 Data Center Edition running on the 180-day trial. There's a shortcut on the desktop that opens the Azure Migrate appliance. Let me open another tab in my Edge browser here and let me navigate to that page. If you open it in the current Edge browser, you're going to get yelled at in terms of self-signed certificate, but that's fine in this case. It's going to prompt you to authenticate into the project that you've got going on. Now, of course, if this is your first time running the appliance, it'll be a fresh environment. But what I'm assuming here is that you've already used the appliance and associated it with your subscription in a Azure Migrate project. And now, for whatever reason, you need to reset the appliance to use again. So as you see here, right up in the summary area, I'm tapped into a Migrate product called O'Reilly Server Migration 2020 that I've long since disposed of. So we can't go any further here in terms of trying to connect to a Hyper-V server. If we put in credentials here, notice that save details grays out. It's just not going to get us where we need to be. So, of course, that's the hallmark. That's the point of this operation. How can we reset the appliance? Well, I spoke to the Azure Migrate team about this, and it's a remarkably simple fix. We need to make a small edit to a JSON file called appliance.json, and its directory path on a Windows machine is C Program Data Microsoft Azure Config Appliance.json. Let me open up that file on this server in Notepad, and let me adjust the view here a little bit. All we have to do is find the element is appliance registered, and instead of true, we're going to change this value to false. I'll save my changes, close the JSON file. And I found in my experience, this goes into effect immediately. Watch, it probably won't right now. You may have to either restart the IIS service on the server or actually reboot it. It looks like I'm going to have to do that, actually. So let me reboot this server. Hang on just a second. Okay, well, we're back from that reboot. And what you'll find, let me resize this ancient Internet Explorer browser, is that the Azure Migrate web application is set to auto-launch when you log into your Migrate appliance. So I'll just let it ride here with Internet Explorer. And this, of course, is what you want to see. 
where you're asked to set up prerequisites by accepting the license terms. And at this point, you notice an additional step down here to register with Azure Migrate. So we've successfully accomplished our goal of resetting the Azure Migrate appliance. Some learning resources I've selected from the Azure documentation include this article from the Azure Docs on Azure Migrate Appliance, timw.info forward slash am1, and general information about Azure Migrate and server migration. You can find that at timw.info forward slash am2. Thanks a lot for joining me, as always. I appreciate you very much. Contact me at Twitter, Tech Trainer Tim. You can look in my plural site, Microsoft Azure Courses, in their library, timw.info forward slash ps. And my website is techtrainertim.com. Take good care. I'll see you around.